Okay guys, here's the conclusion. We're gonna start with airsoft. Okay, first, all these are all the topics I talked about. I'm gonna talk about pain first. Okay, pain on bare skin, I'm giving airsoft a 4.5, a 4 out of 5. If you're wearing a jacket like I'm wearing right now, which is standard army BDUs, even, you know, paintball jerseys, anything like that, I'm giving it a 1 out of 5. Okay? So there will be two different totals at the end. So take that in mind. Bear skin, it gets a 4 out of 5. Uh, jacket, it gets a 1 out of 5. Okay. Rea uh, realistic looks. I'm giving it a 4.5. Okay. Just because there is no real perfect gun out there. Okay. Um, so for that reason, it gets a 4.5. A 4 um, for electronic it, for electronics I'm giving it a two out of five this reason being nim batteries the NIMH I talked about them earlier are very expensive they're very heavy they're a real pain to carry around they have to be charged forever and you know once they're dead they're dead they're gonna take probably 12 hours to you know recharge okay cost and quality I'm giving airsoft a three out of five reason being a lot of airsoft guns out there just because they're expensive is not necessarily because they're good quality okay you can find good quality guns but all in total an airsoft gun is eventually going to fall apart it is it, it's it's inevitable it is eventually going to fall apart okay the rounds and amount of rounds you can carry I'm giving it a one out of five. Um, this being this reason being, you can carry in just a little container like this. He could carry 2,500 rounds, which is ridiculous. And then maybe you got high cap mags. Maybe, maybe you're carrying mags too, and you got a bottle like that. And maybe they're high cap mags. Say you're working with an MP5. High cap mags are like a buck fifty. You know, 150, 150 rounds. Say you're carrying three of those, like on one side of your vest. You got 450 rounds right there, one in your gun. You got 600 rounds. You got a little bottle like that. You got another 2,500. So you're looking at over 3,000 rounds. Ridiculous. Okay. Skills. I'm giving it a three out of five. It takes tactics. It, it takes being able to see lines of fire. You know, being able to see your opponents. But all in all. If you're using AEGs and you have that much ammunition, you can blind fire all day and it is likely that you'll take out your opponent. Okay. The configuration and upgrades you can get for them. I'm giving it a 1 out of 5. Okay. Reason being, it's about the only thing you can change with an airsoft gun other than, you know, outer looks, you know, scopes, stuff like that, which is natural for any gun, so I'm not giving it credit for that. Um, it's pretty much the gearbox. That's about the only thing you can change. Okay, turnies, you know, just your games that you'll find around there. I'm giving that a one out of five because there are no real airsoft fields. I mean, there is one in Fergus Falls, so it's about a 40 mile drive for me. It, it's indoor. Um, I've never personally been to it. I've driven by it quite a few times. I, I want to stop in just to see how they're doing it, but um, it, it's just it's low enough on the scale which is next I'm giving it a 3 out of 5 for the scale for the size of players in in the US just because there are tons and tons of people out there that play airsoft they just never necessarily get together to play because there's not really anywhere for them to play okay um and like I talked about with quality before I'm giving this I'm giving it a 2 out of 5 for reliability slash durability because you know it is eventually going to fall apart. Okay, so in total, if on bare skin, the airsoft total is 25.5 out of 50. If you're playing, you know, with t shirts and you get hit in the arm on bare skin or something. If you're wearing a full jacket or a long sleeve shirt or anything like that, a jersey, it's 21.5 out of 50. Okay, here come the paintball stats. For pain, I give it a 3 out of 5. This is because the initial pain of a paintball hit. Your adrenaline rush is so high, you don't really feel it. You kind of are in a state of shock. Um, it's just, it's, you know, 
it's more realistic there. And even through a jacket, it's still going to leave somewhat of a welt, you know, from any distance. I mean, even, you know, if you're taking long range shots, it, it's not necessarily going to. But most firefights, like I stated before, take place at about 40 yards and in. So it's going to leave some sort of mark. Okay. Reality, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Reason being, okay, you can get through your list you, the realistic markers. You can keep making your gun look, your marker look more realistic with more upgrades and everything. Um, the sound, uh, the fact that the army and SWAT and police are using it, are using paintball instead of airsoft, right there is why it gets the reality points for me. Okay, electronics, I'm giving it a four out of five. Reason being, you can carry extra nine volts. You can carry extra double A's. You know, those aren't that hard to carry around, especially when you're wearing a tactical vest. You got a nice big pouch. Um, even, you know, on these jackets, you got the big pouches, the big pockets up here. You got your, if you're wearing cargo pants, which a lot of camouflage pants, uh, the Army BDUs, Tiger Stripe, Woodland, all of that, they're, they're all cargos. You can carry extra batteries, okay? So the electronics. Um, the new thing with the X7 Phenom, they've dealt with that. Um, I'll talk about that later because I'll probably do a review on that marker as soon as I can. Um, cost plus quality and cost and quality. Okay, I'm giving it a five out of five because in paintball, the cost and the co the cost and the quality are directly proportioned. Okay, you can go get an SP1, which is one of the greatest markers I've ever seen. That's an electro pneumatic marker. For like 175 bucks, get the Black Heart. It's like 230. It, it's an amazing marker. Okay, it's cost and quality are directly proportioned to all markers. Okay, rounds. Okay, I'm giving it a three out of five. Reason being, you can get those vests that have huge amounts of pockets for pods and everything, so you can carry over an extreme amount of rounds in paintball too. But nowhere as near to the amount of rounds you can you can carry for airsoft. Okay skills I'm giving it a five out of five because you have to know you have to know where that shot is coming from um, because a paintball is not going to be nearly as affected by wind or anything as an airsoft BB so in airsoft you have a chance that BB will be averted by a branch anything like that more than a paintball because um, most of the time they're gonna shoot in about a lot of players I play with shooting like a three round burst first round takes down the branch that might be in the way and then the last two are coming straight at you um, so you have to know where the shots coming from you have to know tactics you have to find your opponent before he finds you um, you have to know how to be able to work with your gun and take care of it so that it will take care of you and it's just you know you have to okay configs and upgrades okay I'm moving that a five out of five too because you can upgrade pretty much everything on a paintball marker Anytime, I mean, not necessarily any anytime you have the money, you can upgrade pretty much anything on a paintball mark if you want to. Okay, tourneys five out of five directly pr proportion to the scales and size of this sport in the U.S. A couple of years ago, APG took a consensus, and last time I knew, there were 10 million plus in the U.S. alone people who played paintball. So, tourneys. And scales and size, I'm getting a five out of five. Um, and the reliability, durability, I'm giving it a four out of five. Reason being, it doesn't get a five out of five is because you have to take care of your marker, so it'll take care of you. Okay, so the paintball total is 43 out of 50. So honestly, you know my final conclusion: paintball is better than airsoft. And you know, maybe that is because of the seriously bigger size and scale of paintball uh, compared to airsoft. So, there you go. Um, that's my final conclusion.